guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to this four day travel vlog of my time in Amsterdam. I'm gonna show you guys what we got up to on every single day so I really hope you enjoy it. Definitely like it if you do and we'll dive straight into Thursday. I can't see the time up there but it's like quarter past 11 p.m and I'm trying to be really quiet because like everyone's trying to go to sleep. This is uh, me starting the official Amsterdam vlog. I know, very rogue, um, but we leave tomorrow at a ridiculous hour in the morning. I'm currently in London with Angelo. We have to get to London Luton Airport, so we have to get a coach at like 2.30. So we have to leave at 1.50 in the morning in like three hours. Ooh, ow. My brain doesn't work right now. I feel like I'll feel more tired if I sleep, so I don't think I'm sleeping, you guys. Honestly, I have never wanted to break an alarm so much in my life. I just did not want to wake up, and my face says it all. I was very tired, you guys, but we made it to Luton. Getting up at 1 30 was not fun. We were just laughing for um, <laughs> half an hour. <laughs> Because we were just so tired to even like yeah. fathom what life is going to be like. Yeah, it was the hardest thing I've had to do in a long time, I'm not going to lie. Bear in mind, we had an hour's worth of sleep. One hour. True. One hour. That's just not enough sleep. We're in a Luton airport and um, we're queuing, which is the most boring bit, trying to wait to get on the plane to fly to Amsterdam. Our flight's at 6 a.m. It's currently like half five. Where are we going? Amsterdam, baby! Woo! Are you excited, Monica? Yeah. Hey! So just to introduce everyone in this video, Monica is Angelo's sister and Angelo is obviously my boyfriend. You guys have met him before and I have been to Amsterdam previously. Angelo has as well, but it was Monica's first time. <laughs> I look so tired, oh my god. In case you hadn't noticed, we have arrived in Amsterdam and we are heading to Central on a train from the airport. I recognize this train. It's all coming back to me. They're very modern and yet spacious. So it is pretty straightforward getting to Amsterdam Central from the airport. You just take one train. It's really easy, as I said. And then because we were staying in Klink Nord, which is the hostel where I was last time, we had to get the boat over to Nord, which is free. And this is like the most popular hostel in Amsterdam. So I definitely recommend staying there. Stop number one is, um, how are we pronouncing it? Coffee and the Kuch. That's right. Mm -hmm. Coffee and coffee the... and cook. Okay, cook. we're in coffee and a cook. Coffee and cook. This is a second coffee for me. Well, for it's you the as well. Coffee, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, we're running on one hour of sleep. But... One hour. It's a fully vegan place, by the way. We ordered. Um, we're having a oh, scone. Got a scone a croissant, and a croissant. And a carrot cake. This is a bit of a walk out the centre of town. It's about 20 minutes away from centre. Yeah. It's a cute place though. It's a very cute place. Um, coffee and a kuchen. Monica, do you want to be introduced? I'll do it around. This is Monica, by the way, everyone. Do you want to say who you are? Who are you? Monica. Yep. <laughs> this is our scone. This is a, a scone or oh, scone. scone. Scone or scone. scone, whichever one you want to call it. This is our croissant. I think it's just plain, right? Plain croissant. And then Monica got the carrot cake, which looks really good. Like, look. The layers. She's already taken her bite. Is it good? It's really good. We finished at Coffee and Kuch. These are some uh, Netherlands tulips. We have some random statue doing something. And now we've decided to come to a uh, an adventure park. This. This is what you do when you come to Amsterdam. Does it have an age limit? Hope not. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Should we do monkey bars? Oh yeah, monkey like bars. Like I want to go through the tunnel. Yeah, you can't do it. Oh, skills. Ah! I'm alive! I don't know if I'm small enough. Ah! That's mad. That was not just very comfortable. Oh, 
stuck in the middle. Hello. How do you like it, buddy? You all right? Yeah. Woo! Ah, it warm up! No, you're chilling. Hello. I'm gonna hold this mark. I'm gonna hit it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll always... Holly. I'm coming up. Bloody hell, you're actually gonna die. No, no. Oh my god, Monica's shaking it. Monica's shaking Don't it. Don't shake it, Monica. Monica, no. Woo! Oh! Sheesh! We got a monkey over here. We had a live chimp. I did not know I was getting myself into that. Picturesque. Ooh. Thank you. Now, in terms of guessing around Amsterdam, we mostly did walking. We just walked literally everywhere. But you can get bikes as well. The city is built for biking, but I'm not gonna lie, it is really quite chaotic. However, to get to Soil, we just decided to jump on a tram. So we downloaded the app GVB. You just load money onto it and then you can travel for a certain period of time, which is really useful. And we just used the trams to get to Soil, which is a fully vegan restaurant and it's actually Asian inspired. <laughs> So good, right? Very good for a place called Soil. Trivia. I got the vermicelli noodle salad. What is it? Tell them what it is. Tell them what it is. Snickers. Snickers. This is their vegan Snickers, which looks really cool. I'll take a piece. And then Monica, what is this? Uh, apple crumble. Is it apple crumble or apple pie? So we all tried the different desserts and I definitely think the apple crumble or pie was our favorite But we also got the cheesecake as well And then after that we looked around a few of the vintage shops So there's one called episode and then we also went to one afterwards called Bijons Both of these recommendations actually came from one of you guys So the biggest shout out for sending those in But the one thing I would say about the vintage shopping scene in Amsterdam is that the clothing is really overpriced I don't really know if you guys agree. If you've been, let me know down below, but those were just my thoughts anyway. Yeah, this is Angelo struggling to find something, but later that evening, Angelo and I cooked dinner in Klinknord. So it's a huge hostel, you guys, but the kitchen is tiny and very chaotic at times. But we managed to make a very simple plate of pasta, beans, and veggies. We just bought some groceries. And then later that evening, we went on an evening walk and actually walked down the red light district, which is what you're looking at. Monica, are you asleep? Okay, I'm trying not to be loud when I vlog. It looks like I've got short hair. Anyway, um, I just wanted to end this first day in Amsterdam. It's like midnight and we're going to bed, so we've been awake for a very long time. Angelo has just been on the toilet making it really smell. But um, yeah, we're in a four bed dorm in Klinknord basically. And um, yeah, it's been a good day. Monica, have you enjoyed yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Not. It's been really good. Um, it was raining this evening and we saw thunder and lightning, which was really kind of scary. And I've also had really bad lower back pain, but we move. I said that you were just taking a uh, shot. I'll, oh, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow for day two in oh. Amsterdam. Oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, so something I didn't manage to do when I was in Amsterdam last time was run around some of the parks. It has quite a few and the biggest one is Vondel Park. Angelo ran around here last time and I can confirm it is really really good for running, cycling or just exploring and walking. And then a top coffee shop recommendation is Cafecito. I've only recently gotten into coffee you guys but this was so good. This is our breakfast. We have mm. uh, bananas with apple and granola and oat milk. Good morning everybody. Oh it's actually not even the morning is it? It's 1 p.m. Well, Angela and I have been on a run. We've got Monica now. We collected Monica. <laughs> and basically, agenda for the day. Um, obviously, Monica hasn't been to Amsterdam before anyway. Um, but we've both been separately. We're doing the swing. So we've both done the swing as well. Monica hasn't done the swing. And I don't know how she's feeling about it. I'm scared. Monica is scared of heights and... Extremely frightened, I'm honest. Yeah. We're gonna hopefully do it though in the evening so we can get like a view of Amsterdam in the night, which I think is really pretty. Cause it just like lights up, it glows. It's somewhere up here, the swing. This is the building. This is Adam. Where? Where? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the sky. Um, but yeah, we go up there 
and you swing for about a minute, but it's very fun. I would recommend. It's the tallest swing in Europe. It's the fun facts. Look at me, a Taurus guy. Yeah, one of us gets to go on twice because there's only three of us. Yeah, you're only allowed two people on the swing at a time. Um, they also have like a lookout, a VR experience in there and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for today. We're matching in Patagonia. Yeah, I know. Not in a bum bag. No one wears colour. Yeah, so everyone wears like black and neutral colours. So we're bringing the colour. As we do. I think we're walking away from Adam, by the way. Yeah, I know, but since you were vlogging, you know, I thought we might give you some, oh, some time sorry, outside. Oh, sorry, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Adam is this way. This way is Adam. We're also on the Nord Island, but it's not really an island. It's just across it's the... Um, Amsterdam that has nothing. Yeah, so. it's across the body of water. I don't know whether to call it a river or a canal or the sea or the ocean. So across here. I also forgot to say yesterday, the one thing that, oh my gosh, really annoyed me in the airport yesterday. Oh. So I put my Thank hair you. gel to like curl my hair in a 100 oh. mil bottle. One of like the human ones. I think it's called a human bottle. They're really good. They're quite pricey, but they don't leak. So I go through security and my bag gets flagged. The bag with the liquids in because the hair gel didn't go through. They scanned it and they took it off me. Now I don't have hair gel to like reset my hair. So it's kind of frizzy today, but I don't know. I might find hair gel. I might not. It's not the end of the world, but it's just so annoying. Like I don't understand why they took my hair gel off me. It's just hair gel, but they had to scan it. Apparently couldn't go through. But anyway. This is the lookout. This is Adam. So we're going here and I'm excited to do it again. Like I would honestly love to do this again. You know, we're doing new stuff as well and some other stuff that we've done before. So Angelo and I, because you know, Monica hasn't done it and we want her to experience Amsterdam because it's a really, really cool place. Look out. Hello. Look out. Look. <laughs> so these are the views you get from the top of Adam Tower while well, the floor just below the top floor where the swing is and I'm not gonna lie you guys I did not enjoy the swing experience this time last time I really enjoyed it I don't know why but this time I just panicked quite a lot and didn't enjoy it so I basically just stared at Angelo and gripped his hand the whole time but it really doesn't go very fast and it's only a minute so I do recommend doing it because the views are amazing especially at night time oh my gosh the sunset on this day was beautiful you guys we found this vegan pretzel which was a really good snack and then this raw bite coconut bar and then as I said we went to Mawa's vegan for dinner so you basically just build your own pizza you can fill it with falafel or like mushrooms and then any of the toppings that they serve we're in Mawaz and I filled it way too full. We have to use the chip thing. Mmm, it keeps so good. This is really good if you want like quick food and something that's not too expensive because something I would say about Amsterdam and the prices there, although they are quite inflated, but it is so worth it for the experience and just the adventure. Guys, we got chocolate milk. Oh yeah. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk bomb is chocolate caramel, right? Is it? Chocolate caramel. Oh yeah, chocolate caramel drink. Chocolate milk. Let me smell it. Mm, it looks good. Yeah, no, it smells exactly the way it sounds. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Molly, what did you do? Oh, what did I do? Cheers to chocolate milk. Cheers to the day. Mm. Oh my god. That's so good. Reasons I really wanted to go back to Amsterdam was simply for the food because last time I only tried Wagamama's and I didn't get to try any of the vegan places, so I was just so excited to go back and visit. You're running with hazelnut milk and granola. <laughs> I'm running with bananas. We just ran around Bondo Park again and we went to Albert Hijen and we got food for breakfast halfway back and now we're running Woo! with food. Bananas, granola and milk. So you put that like this? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we just thought it was more time efficient to pick up food for breakfast before we had showers and then got out exploring for the day. This is Nemo or Nemo. Don't really know how you say it, but it's like, it's the science museum. We're going to the top, which is free. You just have to walk up either the long stairs on the outside or take the elevator. Or the, the elevator, yeah. The actual museum and the exhibitions you pay for. But um, apparently you get really good views. I didn't do this last time, so wanted to do this take it off the list and then we're doing a lot of walking exploring today good food again so 
I'll show you guys what we do. I'll be in a safe. You know that thing where you put your hands around it and then your hair like. Oh, down. yeah, this thing. There's what a is mini it? one. Plasma ball. Oh, doesn't it hurt? No, it doesn't. It just. I think it electrically charges you. Oh. Have you touched me? No, I haven't got a shock. I think you have to leave it for a while. Don't touch the butt. I'm scared. It's quite cool though, like you can I'm move it around. I'm scared. Does it hurt? No, it doesn't. Oh. oh, I think I got shocked. Did you? Yeah. You Why are you getting shocked? <laughs> I got shocked. So we took kind of a strange route getting to the Science Museum itself. But once you are there, you literally just take the stairs outside or the lift inside, as we said. And then you can just get amazing views from the rooftop for free. There's also a cafe at the top as well. And even though we didn't visit the museum, we just had really fun anyway on the rooftop. The weather forecast for the rest of the day was rain. So I'm so glad we did this first thing before we just got drenched because I'm not gonna lie, for like 70% of the time when we were there, it was probably <laughs> raining and we were getting oh, there. And you lose a baby. <laughs> This is one of my favorite things about Amsterdam, the canals and the views. It's a vibe and an aesthetic that you'll just experience nowhere else in the world. But later on in the afternoon, yes, it was raining, but we decided to walk around Wester Park, I think it's called. It's not as big or as fun as Wondle Park, I don't think, but definitely worth checking out if you're interested. <laughs> Jordan neighborhood, which is where we were gonna come on um, our first day. I think it's where the Anne Frank house is. Anne this Frank is, Hui. Yeah, Anne Frank Hui. This is the Jordan neighborhood. By the way, we couldn't get tickets for the Anne Frank house again. You didn't go last time when you yeah, were Yeah, we here. tried to check on Today Fix. Yeah, to get like refunded tickets, but it's so busy. If you wanna go when you're in Amsterdam, you have to book like years in advance, I swear. Basically. Anyway, we are going to Meatless District for dinner. I'm buzzing. I've already been, I've already been, so I know yeah. how good it was. I've never been. <clears throat> Apparently, you had the best burger. It's fully vegan, by the way. Best vegan burger you've ever had, or burger. Definitely. Right? We're, gonna, we're gonna put that to the test today. I think yeah. I'm gonna get another burger, but I don't think Holly will do the same. Holly's usually more of a, a plate, a nice or plate, a, bowl. a nice colourful yeah. bowl. But I'm excited. The menu looks really, really good. So we're just out strolling. It's finally stopped raining. For the past few hours, it literally yeah, has it just been raining. Oh, I know. To the left, you have some cool outfits. <laughs> we yeah, it's got, been raining um, all day. Oh my god, all day since we came down from Nemo. Yeah, basically. don't get me wrong though, it's quite a nice aesthetic with uh, Amsterdam. Yeah, yeah. You know, it seems like a really great rainy city, mm. but you know, it fits. Exactly. I also want to put it out there, I'll throw it out there. I want to ask the question how do you say Albert Hijin, <laughs> the supermarket shop? Because I don't think we're They've saying it right. You say it, yeah. I spent the whole first day saying, like, <laughs> Azerbaijan or something. Yeah. That, that's the country. But what is the most popular supermarket actually? Because I, I feel like it's one. not. Really though? Yeah. Anyway, we're going to go and eat some good food and show you what we get. Let's go. Buzzing. Woo. Is it around here? We're coming up. Like a five, ten minute walk. Five, ten minutes from here. Mm -hmm. This is the vibe. Welcome to Jordan neighborhood. We have made it. Meatless district, it looks so good. I know, it looks fancy. Oh, plant based badass. Yes, that's me. Great opening and you. Times too. Yeah, I know, it's open till 10. 10 on a Sunday. 10. Woo, open. Why, thank you. After oh, you. Trekking. Trick. So good, right? So good. I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> you can try it, yeah. So. For a full review of all of the food we tried in Amsterdam, I'm going to be putting together a separate video just because I'm a foodie at heart. And as I said, I was so excited to go back and try all the vegan food. Good morning, you guys. It is our last day in Amsterdam. And um, I think it's the coldest day, hence why I have a. The hoodie on, the jumper on. Lows of five, on. highs of ten. Lows of five, highs of ten. And it's like raining already, so weather's not ideal. But we've woken up quite early this morning. We're not running today because we have a slot at the Moko Museum, which 
we were trying to establish this morning we think it's like an art museum thing but it looks so cool it's got really like cool lighting and it just looks really cool and it's at 9 15 our slot this is the tunnel that we walk through most mornings we are now in uh, central yeah. and it looks like this kind of gloomy we're gonna walk hopefully not get too wet and rained on wait i'm on a tram line i'm on a tram line excited monica are you excited yeah very very don't look it you're excited <laughs> i'm very excited if i'm let's um, go buzzing once you'd got on the boat across from nord to amsterdam central it was like a 45 minute walk to the moko museum so it is quite a trek but honestly you guys it is definitely worth it and we booked these tickets in advance so we booked them before we even got to amsterdam it's not like a really big museum and you can look around in about an hour to an hour and a half but i honestly loved it you guys and we saved the best exhibition i think until last it was like their digital immersive experience which oh my gosh you guys was so much fun we've done moko which was really really good like it took about an hour right yeah definitely yeah um, hands down i think it's like my favorite museum so. yeah that i've ever been to like it was really cool like modern contemporary very relevant stuff banksy basquia yeah you know keith herring all that stuff yep and then the digital like lighting stuff was just one part but very good would highly recommend we are now in coffee and coconuts which is a very vibey place it's like got three floors like tables held up by <laughs> ropes rope, yeah and stuff. it's like where people come and work i feel like it's a co-working space you can use your laptop and stuff they don't have food. very many vegan no. options but like the food seems pretty like Decent, healthy and good yeah. you know that stuff. okay so the final few things we did in amsterdam so we went to water luplian which is the flea market and i'm not gonna lie it was a letdown this time last time i went in summer last year it was so so good but we then picked up some street waffles and had lunch at a place called Vegabond which is where I got my vegan street waffles last time but as I said we ate lunch here as well and then we basically just chilled at the hostel before we had to get the train back to the airport and flew back home. I am back home. I kind of ended up Amsterdam travels kind of abruptly I do apologize but I don't think I realized how tired I was yesterday. Apparently dad thought I looked super tired um, and that was probably because we were still catching up on sleep from like the first day when we left on Friday. We slept for like one hour, one and a half hours before we left early hours in the morning to get our coach and then the flight. But it was so, so good. Like I had such a fun time in Amsterdam with Angelo and his sister, Monica. I think we all really enjoyed it. And obviously I went to Amsterdam last year. As you guys know, the weather was so much better last year because it was like sunny and warm. I was in shorts. We basically got a train to the airport. There's only one international airport in Amsterdam. And then we got a flight back in the evening at like half nine. And because of the time difference, we didn't like lose or gain any time. Does that make sense? I get so confused with time travel, but like we left at 9.30 Amsterdam time and we got back to the UK. 9 30 p.m uk time so you know what i mean but yeah i had to get a train back from gatwick to london to then home i got back had a shower had some food because i was hungry and then i went to bed and then i slept so well oh my god and um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do have any questions um let me know down below in the comments and also i will be releasing an itinerary on my website again as i usually do it will be free to download so look out for that amsterdam is a great place to go especially if you live in like europe or the uk it's like a nice weekend away long weekend away and um yeah there's like so much stuff to do it's a really really cool city i personally don't think it's livable like i could never live in a place like amsterdam it's obviously a city built for bikes they invest really heavily in that infrastructure um the biking is chaotic like we wanted to hire bikes we put it in our itinerary but that was like one of the only things we didn't end up doing that and hearth we were going to go to a place called hearth on the last day but they opened at 5 p.m that was just too late i was really kind of sad because Hearth looked like a really cool vegan restaurant. So if you do go, please let me know what it's like. But yeah, hiring bikes we didn't end up doing as well because like I just didn't really feel comfortable. Angela didn't either. And Monica also was a bit worried about cycling because like they do have bike lanes like everywhere, but it's just chaotic with bikes. There are so many bikes and cyclists. And I feel like pedestrians do not have priority. You wait at traffic lights for ages and the bikes just come and you almost, you don't die. 
but you know they just they just come really fast and so if i tell you one thing before you go to amsterdam just like look in many directions before you cross a road because otherwise you might get hit by a bike um on a more positive note I definitely think it's a place to see. And yeah, the next travel series will be the big Asia one. So that is super exciting. Definitely like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below, subscribe if you are new and you want to see more content like this. I will link to other travel vlogs if you enjoyed this one. But otherwise I do lots of other stuff on my channel. So subscribe, hit the bell sooner when I upload. And as always, I'll speak to you very soon in another video. Bye. Oh, have you seen? It's called Holly. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Holly granola. High on caffeine. Yeah. <laughs> Bijan, boys. What's it called? Pigeon. Banana. <laughs> banana. You say banana. I think so. Banana, apples, granola, and oat milk in this bowl. I've lost my family. Oh. I've lost my family. <laughs> Gonna get some good views. The you <laughs> <laughs> I am so excited. I also apologize for looking like this. I just got back from a run. And um, yeah, also got away with not resetting my hair for four days. I'm quite proud of myself. It shows you don't need gel. My hair was just really kind of frizzy. I'm not gonna lie.